space travelers surround me Hark now to the ballad of Rockin' Robin Hood I may well confound you, astound you, spellbound you With heroes and villains, the bad and the good Watch now as our rockets race here from afar For now with our Robin we live on a star On a peaceful morning on Sherwood Asteroid, Robin and his enormous friend Little John are passing the time in a one-sided contest when suddenly... <laughs> Little John, do you have a cousin, George? Yeah, my Aunt Petunia's boy. Well, according to this, he'll be here any minute. Little George here? And he's coming to stay. What's this all about? The last time I was on Earth, I went to visit the boy and my Aunt Petunia and I told little George that when he grew up, he might come to Sherwood and join the Merry Men. But he's just a child, a little farm boy. Well, he evidently feels he's ready. Robin, we're in trouble. Your worries are about to commence, friend. There's the interplanetary rocket transport. Howdy, Cousin Joan. I'm here. When do we start out lowing? Little George, does Aunt Petunia know you're here? No, sirree. I done run away, just like I said I would. Oh, no. What's ailing you, Cousin John? You look like you've been rode hard and put away wet. Little George, you are going to get back on that transport. And <laughs> Little John, what kind of a welcome is that? Let him learn his way around the same way you did. Show the boy around. Make him feel at home. Well, I'll be dipped in the creek and hung to dry. You must be Rocket Robin Hood. <laughs> that I am, Little George. And allow me to present the famous Friar Tuck. Never heard of you, but uh, howdy, famous friar. How do you do? What in the name of Pluto is that suffocating odor? That must be my pet, Genevieve. <laughs> All this happens whenever she gets a wee bit excited. Yep. Here's the sweetest little skunk on earth. Take, take that to the fuel bin and leave it there. Well, Jimmy, if I'd have known you didn't like animals. We love animals, little George. It's just that some of them are best loved at a distance. Now, you'll be a good little girl, hear? I'll be back soon with your vittles. Wow, we just look at all this fancy stuff. Where's little George? Inside, putting Genevieve away. I'm afraid the fragrance got the best of me. I had to wait here. <laughs> In the name of all that's airborne, he's got my new portable rocket. The only one of its kind in the universe. Hit the dirt! Jumping hog jails, what a ride! 
You fellas seen my landing? No, as a matter of fact, we didn't, little George. We decided to stay as close to the ground as possible, but we heard it all just fine. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Will Scarlet. Why, howdy, little George. What's this here thing? Don't touch that. <laughs> oh. What's this here thing, he says. And zap, no radar tower. <laughs> Bad enough, my ship. But without the radar tower, we're practically defenseless against attack. We've got to Robin, send him home, Robin. Something must be done. Ah, another voice to be heard. What's your complaint, Giles? Uh, that teenage horse got loose in my pantry and ate everything he could lift. <laughs> well, it's about time the friar had some competition in that department. <laughs> I hope you can laugh your way through tonight's menu of nutrition pills and water. The larder's empty. Honest, Mr. Giles, I just come to apologize myself for wolfing down all your vittles, and I'm a-fixin' to make it up to you with my bowl. I'm going right out now a-hunting, and I ain't coming back till I bag me enough game so as you can stock yourself up for weeks. Then get out of my kitchen! Right away, Mr. Giles. I'm gonna get me a hold of a rocket ship. Man, boy, I'm gonna bag me a parcel of space critters, the likes of which... Well, goody! Ain't that a fancy farmhouse? I got to get me a closer look at that. Rocket approaching. It's one of Rocket Robin Hood's men. Interceptors! Blast off! My, my, that's right, Bertie. I wonder what these fellers want. Hey, what you do that for? You cut that out, you hear? You just wait till I tell Mr. Robin on you. Hey! Is little George going to fall into the hands of the evil sheriff of not? If he does, the sheriff is going to be sorry. of outer planetary space is new Sherwood Forest Asteroid. Fantastic headquarters of that swashbuckling cosmic highwayman of the 30th century, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes, here comes the one and only Rocket Robin Hood, gliding through galaxies in his search for star-shattering adventure. The interplanetary villains quiver in their space boots when they hear the merry ring of his laughter and feel the blast of his mighty electro quarter staff. Rocket Robin Hood, fun-loving astral adventurer in the astonishing years to come. Rocket Robin Hood, the happy outlaw of outer planetary space, is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. He's fast, with a joyful laugh, a ready jest, and a quiver full of futuristic arrows Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral pool. He's fun. He's fantastic. Robin Hood, merriest of the merry men in the astounding year 3000. Little John's enormous country cousin, having blundered his way into not territory, has been shot down from the sky, his flight coming to an abrupt halt at the castle wall. He went hunting, you say? That's right, Robin. He said he wanted to make up for eating all of our vittles. I'll go after him right away. Oh, wait, Little John. 
Little George's motives are well-founded. He wants to pull his own weight. Let's give him a chance. If he hasn't returned by dark, we'll organize a search. Just a boy, you say. Bring him to me. What you doing? What you doing? Let go there. When my mammy hears about this, shame on you. So, Rocket Robin Hood has stooped to employing children. You are fortunate that I have a soft heart, my lad. Because of your youth, I will forego the pleasure of executing one of Robin Hood's outlaws and hereby sentence you to 20 years of hard labor. Take him to the meteor quarry. You're going to be sorry. My mammy ain't going to take kindly to this. You are to be his personal guard. This is what I want you to do. This ain't no kind of work for a clean living farm boy. Look, son, I have a boy of my own about your age. I hate the thought of you being a prisoner. You do as I tell you, and I'll help you escape. I sure will, Mr. Guard. Anything you say. All right, now, pay attention. Just around the corner of the castle wall is your rocket ship. It's been repaired. While I engage the other guards in conversation, you slip away to your ship and blast off. Got it? Yes, sir, Mr. Guard, sir. I got it real good. And I want to say, you're a real nice person. Never mind that now. Get a move on. <laughs> There's the signal. Get ready to blast off, man. There he goes. Blast off, man! We've got him in our orbital radar scanner, sir. He can't lose us. He'll lead us straight to Sherwood Asteroid. At last, I'll meet Rocket Robin Hood on his home ground. He'll not be able to escape me this time. By Jasper, I've done it. I escaped. I'm some kind of tricky outlaw I am. Lead the way, you animus idiot. Lead the way. <laughs> and you, Will, will lead the search party in the eighth orbital path. With my luck, I'll probably find them. Let's be on our way. Look, Robin! Hear that asteroid swarm! Yeah! I made it! How he got to be 16, I'll never know. Howdy there, Cousin Joan! Don't you howdy there, Cousin John me. I ought to turn you over my knee. You had me scared to death. You were scared to death? What about me? Ain't I the feller what was shot out in the sky? Ain't I the feller who was sentenced to 20 yards of hard labor in the meteor quarry? Slow down, little George. Now, tell us what happened from the beginning. Well, here I am a-going hunting, just moseying along looking for a likely spot, when sudden-like, I seen the biggest farmhouse ever. It was built kind of like a castle, and it had a big flag on top with a M and a O and a couple of T's on it. I wonder what that meant. Never mind that. Get on with it. Get on with it. Well, like I said, I'm just looking the place over when suddenly like three spaceships blast off and come after me. And do you know what they done? Well, we can't even guess, little George. What did they done? I did. They blasted rockets at me. That's what they done, and they shot me down. And then a bunch of fellers in funny-looking suits jumped on me, and they dragged me into a big room where they was the meanest-looking feller I ever seen. An apt description of the sheriff. I don't know who he was. They all kept a calling him his own excellency. Anyways, he said because I was a young'un, he felt sorry for me. That doesn't sound like the sheriff I know. That's what he said. And he said instead of giving me an execution, he was going to make me do 20 years of hard labor. Now, one question, little George. If you were sentenced to 20 years of hard labor, how do you account for your presence here? You've only been gone since this morning. Aha! I foxed them. When they wasn't looking, I jumped in that spaceship and escaped. That simple. Just like I told him. Hmm, something's wrong here. What's bothering you, Robin? Brains were never the sheriff's long suit, but I don't believe he's that stupid. I wonder what he has up his sleeve. There's your answer, Robin. Look! The boy led him right to us. But how did they get through our radar cover? Your little cousin took care of that, too, remember? I'm afraid we haven't got the armament to defend ourselves against such an attack force. That must be the entire not fleet. I calculate the odds at about 10 to 1 or better. That's hardly fair. The sheriff had better get some help. I'll bet that Blackheart is enjoying this moment. Is it any wonder? He appears to have finally done something right. 
The end of Rocket Robin Hood and his band of cutthroats is in sight. They'll not escape my vengeance this time. First unit, commence your firing run. Has the sheriff at last won the day? Can Robin and the Merry Men even hope to repel such an overwhelming attack force? member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John, the brawniest spaceman ever to rocket through the cosmos in the fantastic years to come. This Goliath of the galaxies has the might of a cosmic Hercules, the brute force of an unleashed meteor, combined with a truly super weapon, the Electro Quarterstaff. Little John, whose great strength is tempered with a simple, good-hearted kindness toward all living things. Mightiest of Rocket Robin Hood's merry men in the amazing years to come, Little John. When the problems of Rocket Robin Hood call for heavy thinking, then it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Some, like the wicked sheriff of Knot, think him fat foolish and not worth worrying about. But don't you believe it. Friar Tuck, whose courage is as tremendous as his appetite, is just one of the astounding space characters in the merry band of Rocket Robin Hood in the fantastic years to come. to the misadventures of Little George, Robin and the Merry Men are besieged by the entire Not Astral fleet. Outnumbered and faced with superior arms, their situation is desperate. Those fellows have spent some time on the practice firing range since our last outing. We better get organized. Little John, hide the boy in the fuel bin till this is over. Come on, little George. Will you assemble the rest of the men? We can't very well ward off those fortresses with our sporting weapons. Friar, you and I will have to try to make it to the modern arms locker. And stay here until this is over and then come out cautiously. You know, Genevieve, I don't think I like the outlawing business after all. A fella could get himself killed good and dead around here. That was a bit too close. And from here on, it's all open field. We'll have to make a dash to the arms locker. You know, sprinting was never my talent. See how lucky we are? If we hadn't paused to discuss your prowess as a runner, we'd have been inside that pile of ashes. Now what do we do? Pit bow and arrow against Space Fortress? That won't be necessary, Friar. They're landing. At least we'll have the privilege of cracking a few heads before this is over. Now remember, men, try to take as many alive as possible. I want the pleasure of inviting Prince John to their execution. But if they put up too much resistance, don't hesitate to use your laser ray guns. Victory at any cost! Remember, Chubby, if you get into trouble, just call out and I'll come to your rescue. You of all people, I'll probably be busy all night beating them off your back. Out number 10 to 1, eh? I can promise you I'll get my 10 before this is over. My friends, this night may very well be our last one, so let's make it a good one. <laughs> Use 
weapons. If you can't take them alive, take them anywhere. Well, Robin, I guess we've driven them off. I'm afraid not. I think they've been ordered to use their laser weapons, and for that, they need plenty of room in order to keep from shooting each other. Take cover, everybody. That's it. Keep firing. Uh, look at them run like rats in a flood. Rocket Robin Hood, you will be mine before this day is over. Pull back. Pull back to the meteorite cave. The cave? Friar, we haven't much of a chance, if any at all. If we make them come into the cave after us, we'll have them in close quarters and make them limit their use of the laser guns. Sound thinking. Pull back to the cave. We've got them on the run. Press on, man. Press on. Genevieve, this here Sherwood asteroid is an all right place to visit, but I sure wouldn't want to live here. Say, the shooting always seems to be dying down. Perhaps you and me go take a look-see. In you go, men. Make them come after us, then make them sorry they did. Look alive now, look alive. Move along there, into the trench. Move! Blast away at that cave. We've got them cornered now. Little John, if I didn't know you for the stout-hearted ox you've always been, I'd say you were frightened. I sure am. Oh, not for myself, you fool. I'm thinking of little George. If anything happens to him, I have to face up to Aunt Petunia. And I'd much rather take on the entire Knot Army barehanded. I wonder how long it will be before the great Chicken Heart realizes he has to come in after us. They've got him cornered. Whatever are we going to do now, Genevieve? Genevieve! <laughs> Returning our fire. That devil has some trick up his sleeve. <coughs> That's it. Poison gas. Back to the ship. Gotta, gotta get out of here. Genevieve, I'd know that heavenly aroma anywhere. Well, little George, by popular demand, you are now a full-fledged member of the Merry Men. And you are also entitled to a reward. Just name it. Mr. Robin, there's just too dang much blasting and shooting and fighting goes on up here. And if I gets myself killed, my mammy would tan my hide. So and if it's all the same to you, I just wants to go home. We are going to miss you, boy. I was afeard of that, Friar. So I'm leaving Genevieve with you to remember me by. You two should get along famously, Friar. <laughs> <laughs> enemy of Rocket Robin Hood is the cruel space tyrant Prince John, despot ruler of the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. With the help of the wicked Sheriff of Knott, the Black Prince plans for that terrible day when he will destroy and conquer the entire solar system. Well, he might, if it were not for Rocket Robin Hood. Rocket Robin Hood, outlaw defender of right in the astounding years to come. <laughs> Stand with Robin to 
the end. The joys of freedom to defend is the place to be on the side of the free.